Welcome to Sailing Avanti. We are Gerard and Jacqueline sailing our 41 foot monohull Avanti around the world from Cape Town, South Africa. We are currently cruising the Kunayala Islands, or otherwise known as San Blas. While exploring these islands above and below the water this week, we also have to measure a major replacement part. We're on Green Island today and tomorrow we're going to spend a few nights here. It's the first super calm anchorage we have and some nice breeze so it's nice and cool at night. There's starfish everywhere and some local fishermen brought us some lobster so we'll have that for dinner. Uh, so we've never had a small anchor that you can use for your dinghy and it's been quite an issue we've shared one with uh, Pacific when we were in Los Roques but we realized we needed one so that was on our shopping list and now that we are in San Blas we also plan to do a few snorkeling excursions we already done one with some friends we met in Suriname and we uh, caught up with them at long last, after about 10 months, uh, they are on Ruffian, Ian and Fiona, and they were so kind to give us their spare. They had a small dinghy, they bought a bigger one and needed a bigger anchor, but this will be perfect for hours, so they just gave it to us for free. So thank you very much, and yeah, we traded uh, them for some beers. They've run out of beers, they've been in San Blas without shopping for two and a half months. So this is going to be really helpful to anchor the dinghy and just to go and snorkel without worrying um, to lose it. The next morning we were ready to head north, to the Eastern Hollandaise. Since they are the furthest north of the San Blas Islands, they have the clearest water and if the swell isn't too bad, some of the best snorkeling opportunities. While Gerard was kneading our bread, we had two visitors on the bow. 
Two naughty teens that seemed to be alone until their mums came to fetch them, we think. They were gone almost as soon as they came. Arriving at Barbecue Island, it's also called Swimming Pool Beach. So hopefully there's a Los Roques type swimming pool, but the islands look beautiful. Our first day here we couldn't actually swim due to the amount of jellyfish. If you look closely you'll see the pink circles and what looks like a flower inside. There were hundreds of them coming past with a current. No more excuses. It was time to look at our main cell problem we've been ignoring since Santa Marta. So this is one of these examples where the sail has just made a crease there as well. You can see it just fold it and when it unfolds it actually cracks open. It's almost like it's better now. In Santa Marta it was really brittle so I don't know if it's the humidity or something probably not I'm probably talking crap but it's as if it's less brittle now but um yeah there's a lot of places that this is just happening so we did patch a lot of these small little ones in santa marta but um as the sail folds and 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 comes back out it seems like it's just tearing not good time to take the mainsail off the mast and boom and put it on the ground to start seeing what's going on once and for all. We're planning to cross the Pacific Ocean in just a few weeks and if we need to order a new sail and have it shipped to us it could take a couple of weeks. It's time to start measuring and get quotes for fixing versus replacing and finding out if a new sail would actually make it to us in time for our departure. With not a lot of big open beaches, we had to sail to another island to take the sail to shore. Gerard and Ramon first found the beach with the dinghy and then we took our ladies around to it. Today we're taking our mainsail to a beach, we had to move the boat, there isn't a lot of beaches with open space, so luckily just around the corner yesterday we saw with the dinghy quite a big beach, so we're gonna, we're gonna put the mainsail on the dinghy and take it to the beach to have a look at the panel that's not in good shape and to measure it, because we are getting some quotes for replacement, so to make absolutely sure if we do go for a new sail, that uh, it fits we need to measure it properly on a flat piece of land so yeah off we go to the beach
Arriving on the beach, this local Kuna man first thought we were bringing him the sail. His expression soon changed when we spoke to his English friend Ivan, that we were just here to measure our sail. He owns a restaurant on the other side of the island and makes superb lunch or dinners on request and even delivers fresh bread in the morning to your boat. What more can one ask for in an anchorage? This island gave new meaning to same boat jobs, different paradise. Luckily, help was on its way. So we're using our Oryx horn for the first time. Uh, we brought it with us for a self-defense weapon. A friend of us in Cape Town, Vikas, gave it to us and Christabel. So it's a very good weapon if you want to hit a pirate. Um, and it's a legal weapon. But today we're using it for just securing the mainsail and stretching it a bit on the beach. So thank you uh, Vikas and Christabel for the horn. So this, there's like two panels that we've seen that's kind of brittle and it's making these tears wherever there's a crease. So I don't know, maybe it's just the top part of the sail that's been exposed to UV or left open outside of the tack pack before we got the boat. Um, but yeah, some, some parts are really brittle and it makes these tears quite easily. Um, especially this part but maybe it's just one of four panels you can see there's a lot of small patches we've done on the top panel as well so yeah I don't know but we're gonna measure it and see how it looks Lorena, I heard Harard's making tuna and mashed potatoes tonight. Oh. <laughs> I'm living dangerously oh. under the coconut tree. <laughs> I'm tasting my first beer from Panama. We've been here for two weeks, um, but only on small islands, so we haven't really seen any restaurants or shops, and we still have Colombian beer. But when we came to measure the sail on the beach, there's a little restaurant on this island, and um, the owner came to us to welcome us. So we thought we might as well buy a beer. He said he had some cold ones. So this is a Balboa. Like I said, it's the first one we see from Panama. It's a lager, cerveza, and it's got 4.4% alcohol, and it's a 350 ml can. How much was the cost? Two US dollars. So for a restaurant price, it's not too bad. Um, and everything in Panama is in US dollars. So let's see how it goes. They're more than a hundred years old. Uh, they started in 1910. It is quite refreshing. It's hot today, so um, yeah, cold beer is always good. Um, it's a pretty good lager, better than I think some of the ones we had in Colombia. But definitely not the same as the Club Columbia's. So in terms of taste, size and cost, uh, this one will have to score a uh, 6.5 out of 10. Cheers. Next week we catch more fish, finish the measurement of our mainsail, spend more time in paradise and we have a visitor. Thank you for joining us this week. Please give us a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see the next video and leave us a comment of what you enjoyed most. 
Thank you to our Patreons who support these videos monthly. You can join them by clicking on the link in the description below.